new backdrop because while I mostly enjoy doing these videos outside, the weather has been utterly terrible recently. So I made myself a little spot to do it indoors. And speaking of new things, there's been a brand new genus of dinosaur described from China. Part of the genus of dinosaur known as Jingju Long, this new species has been described as Jingju Long Yuerum. I think. It's a bit of a mouthful. But as with all new paleontological discoveries, this one is particularly important. And in this case, it is important because it comes from a group of animals that we're still trying to understand. Sauropodomorphs are the group of animals that include sauropoda, otherwise known as the long-necked dinosaurs. They are some of the most famous dinosaurs ever to have lived. However, sauropods, as the popular media kind of knows them, such as Brachiosaurus, Argentinosaurus, and Diplodocus, were quite late covers to the party in regards to the dinosaurs. Sauropodomorphs were around long before these sauropods appeared. And this is the section of the group where Jingju Long fits into. Hailing from the early Jurassic, at the time it would have been a fairly sizable animal between 5 and 7 meters in length. But unlike the later sauropodomorphs, these animals, we believe, were bipedal. Other examples from this group of animals include the likes of Platyosaurus and Anchisaurus, which are more famous examples. And my goodness, are they just a bizarre looking bunch of animals. But they played a very important part in the evolutionary history of some of the largest animals ever to roam our Earth. So it's very exciting to see new fossils from this group being discovered. 